All right, so guys, I just finished up my last video, and I decided to attempt my second video, even though the temperature is really cold out here. But I figured I'd give it a shot. If it works, it works. Great, we'll show it. If not, I'll come back out later on after this Oklahoma weather. I mean, it's like it's freezing cold. It's raining. It's just miserable outside. But a couple days ago, it was almost 80 degrees. So this, this is Oklahoma. All right, so here's, here's what we're going to do. So what I wanted to show you are these baits here. I want to make a two-color bait without a laminating block, without putting a piece of foil or a laminating block between the molds to shoot one side, peel it out, put it back in, and then shoot the other side and let it fuse with the heat back to the worm or the whatever you're going to do. So what I, what I did here was a cotton candy um, and the electric blue. And we just made, and this right here is just bubble gum with the electric blue. So this is, this is a good example here of the laminating process. And these, what I did, <clears throat> well, this right here was an injection mold. This was a hand pour mold hand pour mold, injection mold, and uh, injection mold, and all the rest of these were hand pours. All of these were hand pours too. This guy here is my open pour here. So what I did with these guys is I just poured, I poured the, the yellow into the cavity and then poured the, the smoke black on top of that and into the, the tail channel. So that's how I achieve these. So we'll put that back. Uh, how do you get the worm and the injections? That's what I want to show you today. Well, I'll show you the worm anyway. So here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the pink, but not the bubble gum. We're going to go back to the cotton candy and show you on this one. And I've already oiled this up with some of this classic crappie uh, natural fish oils, pheromones, and anise oil. So this is going to be a scented worm right here. I want all those things to impregnate into the worms we're making. So we got our cotton candy. It's like it's, it's so cold out here. 30 seconds didn't even touch that. Okay, so the cotton candy's here. Uh, like your blue is here. Let's get these going. And I'll be back with you as soon as we're ready to do the mold without a laminating block or without a piece of aluminum foil to fill in the space and create. I've done it before. Here is here's a foil where I've done it before to make a smaller mold. Uh, you just cover, well, let me find the mold. Let's, let's grab this grub. So basically the theory is you want to cover your your mold with a piece of aluminum foil to separate the two sides and then you, whenever you shoot it you peel it apart you have one side one color and another side the other color and that gives you a very straight line well there's no straight lines in nature you see on this worm here I don't have a straight line it's there's a line it's defined but it's kinda of wavy that's what I'm after so let's get this uh, bubble gum up to heat and I'll be right back with you, and we'll show you how it's done. Okay, let's get you guys situated here. All right, so when this comes out, it's going to be hot enough. And here's basically what I'm going to attempt to do in this temperature. Because everything is cold, freezing cold out here. What I'm going to do is simply hand pour one side of the mold. It's a very easy trick to do. I'm going to start back here and we're just going to hand pour this side of the mold. And it's okay if you don't go all the way to the top. It's okay if you don't get all the way to the front because it's going to give you a, a line that's not exactly perfect. 
which is completely natural. So we'll go there. Add more there. And then we'll hit this here. And this is cotton candy. I think I said I think I said bubble gum. I'll put it in the microwave. Okay. So there is that. There is our hand poured three cavity Schmedics five inch stick bait, aka Cinco. Now, what we're going to do is let that cool down a little bit. I'm going to put the other half. I'm going to need two hands for that because I got the pin. No, we might get it. There it is. So I'm going to let that cool a little bit so whenever I pick it up, it doesn't all drain to the bottom of the cavity. <coughs> Why that's cooling over here, we're going to take this uh, electric blue, get it fixed up, and ready to pour, not pour, inject into that cavity, and it's going to come down the sprue and fill in the other side, and we want that to be pretty hot so that it will remelt the cotton candy and fuse to it and produce the, I, I need, everything's dirty out here, it will produce that, that, that worm that we uh, we saw earlier, right like that. So let's get this electric view blue. So let's get this electric blue to temp, and we'll be right back. Okay, it has occurred to me that that is not enough electric blue to work. So I pulled out this ghost shad. I think what I'm going to do is dump this ghost shad into the electric blue, and run with that. So, let's get that. Let's make that happen. Okay, so we're we're back, and I had to switch to my phone. Now here's here's why we we were shooting some karate stuff with the the cannon here, and the GoPro is a piece of garbage. It's it's just absolute trash. It's a B-roll. So I've been using this Vivitar, which has yet to fail me. This is an amazing camera. I love it. It's it's not done me wrong so far, but the uh, the GoPro has done me wrong. <laughs> it's about every time I touch it. So the batteries in those things have all died because we were filming some katas for karate school. So here's the thing. This is what I wanted to do. Show you guys how to make a, a laminated lure without a laminating block and without cramming a piece of aluminum foil in between your mold to separate the colors. So just to recap, I got to get rid of this clutter, and I've already successfully already gotten rid of two cups, got those cleaned up. I need to get rid of these four. So what we did, just to recap, because I don't know where my footage stops, but I know where it starts. Uh, the cotton candy, we hand poured one side of the mold, and then we took electric blue, didn't have enough, so we added some ghost shad in there 
That's why it's a little lighter than the electric blue that you see here. It's going to be a little lighter, but I think it's still going to look good. So here's the plan. Empty out all of these cups, get this entire area cleaned up so I can work without without clutter. I don't I don't like to work in clutter, guys. So anyway, let's see if I can get you guys situated and we're going to do a reveal on this right here. Let me put a worm behind you. There we go. That should get you beautiful. Good. All right. I'm happy with that. All right. So this is the Smedix three cavity mold that I, I got here. Let's go ahead and crank it open. Now we've already hand poured one side and this is freezing cold and I have yet to get a good three and it, it didn't happen here. For some reason, it's so cold out here that I have yet to get this top cavity to fill at all on anything that I've ran so far. I've only had the two bottom to fill. I think the plastic's cooling down either in the either in the extruder, the plastic's cooling down or something else is, is happening. It's just not it's not getting where I need to be. So I think I can probably peel this apart while it's still warm. Yes, yes. Beautiful. All right, so we can save this for another day when it warms up and it's not 30 some odd degrees out here in the shop. All right, so we're going to save that for another day. <clears throat> Since this is still soft and I was able to remove that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the scissors, roll this back, just snip that off, roll this back and snip off the sprue. Now the sprue, when you do this, what's good is that your sprue is 100% one color. So I can put that right back in the cup. Done. So now I want to do this carefully because it's still hot enough I can pull these apart. But this is a hand pour on one side. Injection pour on the other side. It gives you somewhat of a straight line. But at the same time, let's roll this other guy out. And we'll just prop this guy here. Set that there. Now let's just put it on the white. Put it on the white paper towel under my glass. Okay. So let's pick this up. <clears throat> so process simple hand pour one side of the mold let it cool put it back together and then injection inject the other color and this is what you get in this is what this is the results guys it's beautiful all right so this is without a laminating block i think this is far simpler than with a laminating block and i think the results are just as good now on the end you can see that the pink kind of thinned out and the blue overtook where I didn't fill it to capacity. And at the tip where the sprue was, I intentionally did not pour up to the up to this area where it fills. I wanted to let that blue have a hundred percent of that area. So I pulled the pink back a little bit. But that's it. Let's get this in a water bath with our with our other stuff that we ran and this water is 46 degrees so same thing here on this one bam and i tried to hold back off of that pink a little bit so the blue can have most of that cavity but look at that laminating two colors without a laminating plate or without trying to cram aluminum foil in there it works great on all the molds that I've done it with so far. Put those guys in there. And that's beautiful. I don't know if I caught that, but the, the water is now 50 degrees. Earlier it was 48 degrees. And it's cold out here. 
All right, so we're gonna leave this guy until it warms up. And we'll just hand pour the other two sides and then we'll injection, we'll shoot the uh, electric blue go, go shad mix and we'll make uh, some more, more of these pink and blues. Make some more of these pink and blues. And just make them absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if, if we caught this or not, but I'll pull one out. So this is, this is our, our shad. And I hope I got this on. I hope I got this before the, the, the camera died. But while I had the blue in the injector, I went ahead <clears throat> when I felt enough pressure off of the Schmedics that I thought I had it completely full because it wasn't taking any more plastic. I went ahead and just just poured a couple of of these uh, these shads here. And I love these. These work great, and these are perfect for a striper or some bass. Uh, I use them to striper fish, but these are great. Good action in the water what have you so that's that's that that's what I did so we'll get this we'll get this cleaned out later we'll get that all cleaned up later we will make uh, make this area look great again we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna run worms with this uh, smoky black and this this yellow <clears throat> so we'll hit the uh, we'll hit the yellow and the black we'll get those worms made We'll finish off making the, 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 is this electric chicken? I think, I believe it's, it's escaping me right now, but I believe this is electric chicken. I believe this is called electric chicken. So we'll make some more of those. We'll make some more of those, get these cups cleared out, get this entire mess cleaned up. And then per the previous video, <clears throat> we are going to melt our crap cup. It is full again. And whatever we do, we're going to run just about every mold that I have. Uh, th these, those, the open pores, everything is going to get a taste of whatever color this comes out to be. And I decided since I have way too many lures to fish with, and, and people are just like, oh, no, I don't want any more, man. I got you give me too much already. That whatever color that comes out to be, we're going to make a variety of everything. Put it in a, in, a, in, a, in a miscellaneous bag and put it on eBay to uh, to just kind of, kind of fund, you know, some, some Plastisol. I'm getting kind of low on the Plastisol and kind of fund new new molds. But uh, let's go ahead and take out what we ran. This is the last video. So we ran some, uh, we ran all that, uh, that, that uh, worm color out of here. Man, that water is cold. So we got all of those out, and then today, or this video, we did some of this. Man, it's cold. Electric chicken and a couple solid blue shads, X shads from Fusion X. All right, so that's it. This is the previous video right here, and our little uh, panfish baits. That we made turned out really nice i'll trim those up once they have fully cured we'll let these guys sit out here in the cold for 24 hours and that's it bag these up we'll make some more of these get these all bagged up <clears throat> put them with with these guys over here and that's it so you guys take it easy and we'll see you next time have a great day